Good evening, folks. Tonight we're interviewing the computer art man himself, Jeff Mueller. Jeff, how are you today? I'm great. How are you, Xavier? Not too bad. Tell the folks a little bit about what we're doing here tonight. Well, uh, I met Miss Anouf on Twitter, and she... Uh, we've developed a relationship and she asked me to be a guest blog, uh, a guest on her uh, weekly blog. She's the custodian of Miss Anufa's blog? Right, and, and uh, so she sent over some questions and she can't, she can't actually ask me because she lives... In the United Arab Emirates? Yes. So I'm going to be kind of like uh, conducting the interview by proxy on her behalf. Yeah, and and it's really kind of unique that you can that that this is where social media really kind of is special because there's no way in our lifetime that if there was no social media that me and Miss Anouf would be friends and we converse regularly and have been kind of starting to get to know each other and she asked me to do this so let's do it well shout out to miss anufa thank you for giving us this opportunity and without further ado we'll proceed with the interview let's do this jeff how would you describe yourself in three words three words energetic artistic and passionate that pretty much sums it up. So tell us the story behind you becoming a digital artist. That uh, really, real quick. When uh, when I uh, was, uh, my father was an, a commercial artist. He would uh, retouch and illustrate on photographs, and he taught me the skill. I started when I was 16 years old. Once I got into the business and started working full time, the digital we saw in in uh, commercial art, digital art coming up strong, where you were going to be able to manipulate photography inside the computer. And my dad basically put everything on the line, his house, he borrowed any money he could get from friends, investors, and bought a state-of-the-art Quantel graphic paint box. I was uh, very instrumental in pushing him to do this because we both knew that if we did this, uh, we could then make the transition to digital and our craft would not go by the wayside. Give us an idea of the size of that investment. It was a half a million dollars. My goodness. You and know, for one one hundredth of that you can buy the the best computer around and all the the digital art software and, you and want it, now and but boy, boy back then and that was a half a million dollars of 19 what year 1989 so so that was a half a million dollars 25 years ago yeah and and really the the the, the sony high definition television which was a crt was a sixty thousand dollar television back then and we, we started it in 1989, getting the first computer in, really not knowing what we were doing and learning uh, and really got the business going, purchased, an, purchased another computer. Now at that time, between 1989 and 1992, it had dropped from about half a million dollars to 225, a quarter of a million dollars. And then it just kept going along, but that's what I was trained on at Quantel Graphic Paint Box as a digital artist in the commercial art field. Interesting. What was the best decision you ever made? Well, the best decision I ever made artistically was to leave the commercial art field and get into a completely different field altogether. It was the best decision I ever made. It led me to where I am right now. It allowed me to be creative through myself instead of for other people. Awesome. Jeff, what's the best quote you always remember? The quote I remember, it's, it's on my website. An artist isn't paid for his labor. He's paid for his vision. Excellent. Do you believe in luck? You have to believe in luck because there's only, 
it, it's, it, there's too much to look at other people who work hard and then other people who don't and how some people get everything and some people get nothing. Jeff, what is the best stress release, in your opinion, as an artist? What I like to do for stress release is do something uh, other than art passionately. Uh, as you can see behind me, I'm a big football fan. Great stress release. Sometimes it's a little tense, on, but overall it, it's fun, it's exciting. I, that's kind of what I do. Or uh, Spend time with uh, friends, such as Sunday night video blogging, great stress release. Yes, it's a ton of fun. Yes, so those are a couple things that I do, or going out to dinner, you know, that type of stuff. Excellent, excellent. What advice, if you could go back in time and talk with your 13-year-old self, what advice would you give a 13-year-old Jeff Mueller? Ooh, that's a tough one. Ah. I don't know. I would probably leave him alone because the ride I've been on, I wouldn't, you know, there's ups and downs and everything, but to get to this point, I'm pretty damn, pretty damn happy. I don't think there's much. I might give him some really good, if I know what I know now, I'd give him all the results of the Super Bowl so that he could bet it. <laughs> and I'd, be, I'd have a little bit more uh, financial capital to work with. What motivates or inspires you, Jeff? Art. I mean, all types of art. I, we, just art in general. I love, I love what art was, what it's become, and what it's going to be. Uh, the the pure expression that you can get through, and 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 what what you can do, but then see what art is to see what art is now opposed to what art used to be what, before photography when it was its the only means of recreating history through visual forms was was what art. would be some tips to become passionate in what you do tips to become passionate as you got to love what you do so it's it's really something that is in you and heart felt so if you're doing something Pick something, especially if you're doing it for yourself, that you love to do. All I can say is whatever you pick, whether it be stamp collecting, swimming, skydiving, love to do it. And then just do it and share. What's one thing that you can't live without? I mean, my family, but let's just take my family out of the equation. A month ago, on January 7th, I would have said there was a lot of stuff like pizza and a bunch of stuff, but I've been proving that you can live without that. So I would have to say my computer, my my uh, iMac, if that goes down, it would be tough, you know, it would be tough to, to exist because it's such a big part of what I do. If you were to pick your personal best piece that you've produced, which one would it be and why? Let's see, there's two. One I know is the best piece and gets the most acclaim. And I, when I was creating that, I was talking to an art collector on Twitter and I kept going through the series, social media, multimedia series, and he kept telling me to dig deeper. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I had done the first painting, which was dinner at a grill, did coffee house meetings, and steakhouse fling. But he just kept saying, "You, you these are really good, but you got to get dig deeper." And I didn't understand it. And I went up to the West Side Market in Cleveland, and I was able to figure out what he meant by digging deep. It's the statement that Fresh Market Decisions made was a whole slew of cultural statements. The, the, there was the family 
aspect of the family. There was the aspect of healthy eating, uh, picking fruit from the shelf, making healthy choices. There was the at, there was the cultural difference between a very affluent, well-off white woman, and then also the subject matter of a middle-class black family, and and the whole contrast of the piece. And when I when I captured it, I do believe I subconsciously knew knew what I was doing because I was looking to to dig deeper, like he said. But it was only after the painting was finished that I realized the, the true statement that Fresh Market Decisions made overall on society, and then I understood what he meant by digging deeper. So the paintings after that uh, were, were more and more statements of the family structure existing within uh, the social, you know, the social interaction between everybody. So all those paintings had somewhat of a statement on society going forward, and I kind of knew what he... So Fresh Market Decisions was definitely the, the most important painting that I did. But as far as the one I liked the most that I've created, I would have to say I really enjoyed Underwater Adventure the most. So those are probably the two best paintings that I created. What are some things you would like others to know about you, Jeff? I am a very, very hardworking, caring person. I I don't know if ever I really care and like to share I, I put myself out there and I like to share as much of myself as I possibly can. And I don't know if that's always I know that I'm passionate, but sometimes I am very emotional. I cry at most sappy movies. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a very caring person, and my exterior does not come across. I really come across a lot rougher than I actually am. That's pretty awesome. What's your favorite movie? <laughs> well... Once again, this is the part of me that, that I'll, I'll have to share. Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman is by far, I've always liked the classics, and that's just my favorite. I love that movie. That's a great flick. I own it in the Blu-ray aspect of digital remastered. I love every part of that movie. And then... Play as time goes by is the is the song from there. So this my second favorite movie, and I I I'll admit it. I I've gotten so much crap for this throughout history. My my history, it's Sleepless in Seattle. Once again, it's a sappy movie. I love that movie. As time goes by, is really, it's one of the main theme songs throughout the whole movie, and I just love that part of. You know that the good happy ending, the classic movie, running to the Empire State Building at the end and meeting and you know living happily ever after, walking off happily ever after. What then would be your favorite song? My favorite song. Well, my favorite song. I you know you always have a top ten, but it's. It's Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. It's been my favorite song forever. It's just the, the whole aspect of the performance of that, this is your life, what are you going to do with it? And everybody wants to rule the world, but not everybody gets to rule the world. I've always liked that because I've always wanted to aspire to be better, to be on top. And it's always been a very motivating song for me. That it is. Well, that concludes this evening's interview. Jeff, thank you very much. And once again, thanks to Ms. Anufa for the opportunity to provide uh, this interview to her.
Thank you very much. Good night, Thanks. folks. Thanks.